Bergman's cinema has often been said to possess a dreamlike quality. For Bergman, cinema is a dream, and a dream is like cinema. Cinema which feels like a dream, but looks like reality. He uses the language of cinema to speak about the conscious reconstruction of his dreams. Bergman's cinema is personal, therapeutic. He is inviting you into his dreams. But how do you do that? Through the medium of film. What is it that dreams reveal to us about ourselves? Our anxieties. Our insecurities. Our desires. Our fears. Freud believed dreams were primarily sexual by nature. Jung believed the dream was nature speaking on its own accord. It was not created or conceived. It happens involuntarily. You cannot take credit for your dreams. You did not create them, but they are your own. When we dream, our minds are processing what we cannot comprehend. Dreams communicate through images, symbols, archetypes. Our minds try to map this onto images for us to consume and easily digest. Is that not what cinema does? We project images onto our brains, onto caves, onto celluloid, onto screens. The only difference between cinema and dreams is the construction of reality, unless Bergman was a lucid dreamer. Freud believed dreams are the manifestation of suppressed thoughts inside of you trying to convey a message you do not want to hear. Jung believed dreams are uncontrolled nature. How do you express that in cinema? How do you explore your own subconscious, consciously? Could you compare Bergman's cinema to that of a lucid dream? Or is it the relinquishment of control over the dream? This is what Bergman's cinema is exploring, challenging. This scene looks and sounds like a documentary. So does this. But wait, you hear Bergman call action. Oh yeah. He is purposely saying, this is not real. He does it again here. He is drawing attention to cinema's construction of reality. Is that why he has long conversation scenes like this? Long takes like this. Bergman recognizes there is an element of reality within cinema but it is not our reality. For Bergman, it's a dream. If dreams are a force of nature, then you must release control. Is that why he does this? Bergman breaks the construction of a reality to say, I do not control this, but it is of my mind. At other times, it feels like a lucid dream never drawing attention to the construction of reality, but simply the replaying of a dream he once had. His cinema is one that asks how do you experience someone else's dreams? There is no other medium that allows us to feel time, space and narrative simultaneously like cinema. Cinema is an otherworldly place that is transitory, ephemeral, and intangible. Just like a dream.